Welcome back, Mr. By the Mile. I'm an ABA Freight Line Haul Teamster driver. Today we're going to be covering two things. The first one, Tesla Cybertruck gets stuck in the snow and is pulled out by a Ford a Tesla truck. Tesla Cybertruck had to be rescued by a Ford pickup after the Tesla got stuck in the mud and snow on a road in the Sierras south of Lake Tahoe. And the United States Department of Agriculture, the Forest Service, has some things to say about it. And then Elon Musk is found actually union busting. Tesla pissed off Swedish workers. You're not supposed to do that. Tesla workers in Sweden are demanding for Tesla to accept a proposal for collective bargaining and have a contract with the union. Tesla, headed by Elon Musk, is famously anti-union. Musk actually went as far as to once get in trouble for posting on Twitter a threat to his own employees when his employees were considering unionizing. Now that name Tesla, really we have to give credit to Nikola Tesla, of course. I never really hear Elon Musk talk too much about Nikola Tesla, but I think he did on Joe Rogan once. I can't remember. So right here, one of the longest things that we're going to cover today is Musk's woes deepen as Tesla strike spreads across Scandinavia. Now, if you guys don't already know, the percentage of workers represented by a union, and this is in America, is 11.3%. And this was taken in 2022, just last year. Workers represented by a union include both union members and workers who report no union affiliation, but whose jobs are covered by a union contract. Okay, so they're still union, but it's only 11.3%. And over in Sweden, 70% of their population is unionized. So... Now, Sweden, of course, is a much, is much smaller compared to America. But it's still a point to make nonetheless. In fact, investors in Europe overall are very pro-union. And in what I'm about to read to you, you're going to see that point being made. Now, first, Tesla Cybertruck owners get warning from the U.S. Forest Service from Sonora, California. Tis the season for a friendly reminder from the U.S. Forest Service. The warning comes after a Tesla Cybertruck was caught on camera struggling to go up a snowy off-road hill in Stanislaus National Forest. And video of the incident went viral. There's a couple of, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you guys can read this and check the video out too if you'd like. Tesla autopilot recall. Over 2 million vehicles need a software fix of their defective system. Also, Tesla delivers about a dozen Cybertruck pickups as it tries to fix production woes. Tesla sets a date for Cybertruck event. Here's what to know. So those are some bullet points there. So the video shows the Cybertruck with the Christmas tree and it's spinning its wheels and it's stuck on the hill as a Ford truck slowly pulls the car uphill. Tesla advertises it as durable, rugged, and will go anywhere, right? That was as advertised. Um, I think this incident was a combination of an inexperienced driver in these conditions, right? Snowy, icy, uphill. I mean, when I look at the video, it doesn't seem that steep at all. It seems like something that a two-wheel truck can do, you know? But that's just my opinion. A Tesla Cybertruck had to be rescued by a Ford pickup after the Tesla got stuck in the mud and snow on a road in the Sierras south of Lake Tahoe. While the Cybertruck was trying to make room on the road after getting a Christmas tree, the vehicle began to slide down the hill. The driver said it was a prototype and had issues with its four-wheel drive. Ford CEO Jim Farley reposting the video to Twitter or X saying, Forest Service workers said this all could have been prevented if the driver of the Cybertruck had a better understanding of the topographical features indicated on the maps. Practice the leave no trace principle and generally been more prepared. The department also reminds visitors it offers motor vehicle use maps, which you can find online local ranger offices that show which roads and trails are open to different types of vehicles. You never have to worry about a software update at an incredibly awkward moment with one of our MV MVUM maps. Forest Supervisor Jason Kuikin said in a statement, We would invite executive Tesla Motors to sit down at the table with us and develop an educational experience for new Cybertruck owners. My opinion, you guys, I think this truck is ugly. Uh, on top of the fact that I just don't like the fact 
that it's electric. Now, moving on to Tesla, Elon Musk being found guilty of union busting. This one's old, okay? It's from April of 2021. But nonetheless, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can read it yourself. NLRB says Elon Musk threatened workers and fired one for union organizing. In 2018, Tesla CEO Elon Musk wrote on Twitter, nothing stopping Tesla team at our car plant from voting union. Could do so tomorrow if they wanted, but why pay union dues and give up stock options for nothing? Give up stock options. Stock options, and I made a video on this. This is the very last video that I made before this one. That 401ks is what he's referring to. A 401k is a CEO's retirement plan. While we the laborers, we need our own retirement plans as well, in the forms of pensions. Pensions that pay us out to the day that we die. Pensions that we can hand off to our wives or children, okay? We don't mind investing in a 401k, but it's never a sure thing. You saw just a couple of years ago, not that long ago, people lost thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in their 401ks. And union dues are very inexpensive. Some of our drivers make 150, 160 K a year. And union dues are only $68 a month. If you ask me, that's a heck of a lot better than paying five, six, or even a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a month for the best health care. Anyways, his tweet began an investigation into the company by the NLRB in a union busting at the company. So in their decision, the NLRB found that Musk's tweet went above a typical statement that the company wants to stay union free and was seen as threatening. This was exacerbated by the fact that Tesla considered communications from Musk, who found the company as official company communications. It's illegal to threaten to take away pay or benefits from workers if they are found to be organizing a union. In their decision, the NLRB ordered Tesla to offer Ortiz his job back and compensate him for lost earnings benefits, and any adverse tax consequences that resulted from his firing. Tesla was also required to revise their confidentiality agreements that are given to employees to take out a section that bars workers from speaking to the media without explicit written permission from the company. National labor law protects employees when they speak with the media about working conditions, labor disputes, or other terms and conditions of employment. It's a great victory for workers, man. Uh, the ruling, uh, this is in quotes, while we celebrate the justice in today's ruling, it nevertheless highlights the substantial flaws in U.S. labor law. Here's a company that clearly broke the law and yet is three years down the road before these workers achieved a modicum, a modicum of justice. And, you know, I agree. And they just don't go through the same things over there in Sweden. Sweden, you guys over there, we're with you. Uh, we support you, and I'm pretty sure everything is going to turn out okay. But this brings us over to IF Metals. Members of Swedish trade union IF Metal have been at loggerheads with Tesla for six weeks and have garnered support from fellow workers across a range of industries in Sweden. So people are collectively joining, even from Germany. Jan Vladsen, the chair of Denmark's 3F Transport Union, said Tuesday that if that IF Metal and Swedish workers are fighting an incredibly important battle and therefore have his union's full support. In fact, even the investors uh, investing in these union companies are on the side of the union laborers. They very much support unions as opposed to here in America. They're all about themselves. They're all about just making money. Where, don't get me wrong. I'm sure those guys over there are very much for money as well. Isn't everybody? But it's nice to see it being written. It's nice to see it actually being displayed. And now I'll read to you. Tesla faces a growing revolt in Scandinavia after Danish dock workers joined a sympathy strike with Swedish mechanics, heaping pressure on the electric vehicle giant to grant collective bargaining rights to employees. Uh, they've even gone as far over here as to, not, as to stop the shipping of Tesla parts and vehicles. Tesla CEO Elon Musk bemoaned the blockage of license plate deliveries by postal workers as insane and late last month filed lawsuits against both the Swedish Transport Agency and the Postal Service. After Swedish dock workers blocked the reception of Tesla cars into the country, 
There had been speculation that the company would seek to deliver cars to Danish ports and transport them by truck across to Sweden. However, IF Metal requested support from Denmark's largest trade union, which on Tuesday announced a sympathy strike. Jan Valadsen, chair of Denmark's 3F Transport Union, said Tuesday that IF Metal and Swedish workers are fighting an incredibly important battle and therefore have his union's full support. Just like companies, the trade union movement is global in the fight to protect workers. With the sympathy strike, with the sympathy strike we are now stepping in to put further pressure on Tesla. Villadsen said in a statement, of course, we hope that they come to the negotiating table as soon as possible and sign a collective agreement. And then they have a clip here, Elon Musk, I include in the last video that I made of him openly admitting that he disagrees with the ideas of unions and says that they create a sort of peasants and lordship sort of thing, when in fact, it's the CEOs and the laborers that is lordship and, pe and peasant. Okay, And I think the unions naturally try to create negativity in a company and, and create a kind of sort of lords and peasants uh, situation. Billitson also added that even if uh, even if you're one of the richest people in the world, you just can't make your own rules. People have rights, okay? In quotes, he says, we have some labor market agreements in the Nordic region, and you have to comply with them if you want to run a business here. Solidarity is the cornerstone of the trade union movement and extends across national borders. Therefore, we are now taking the tools we have and using them to ensure collective agreements and fair working conditions. All members of 3F Transport are covered by the sympathy conflict, meaning that dock workers and drivers will not receive and transport Tesla cars to Sweden. Swedish labor relations shaped by a series of accords reached throughout the 20th century mean that almost all pay is subject to collective agreements between companies and labor unions without any government intervention. Tesla has so far refused to sign up for these collective bargaining agreements, leading around 120 mechanics to Sweden to launch a strike action in late October. The striking workers are not asking for more pay, but simply for Tesla to honor the principle of collective bargaining. The dispute highlights the potential for an ongoing ideological stalemate, not just between Tesla and 120 mechanics, but between U.S. corporate power and the deeply entrenched principles underpinning the Scandinavian economic model. Now, the extension of the solidarity strikes to Denmark could signal further problems for Musk amid the risk of similar solidarity action in Norway and Germany. So this spreads even further as you can see, where collective agreements are also a key tenet of labor relations. IF Metal told CNBC Tuesday that it has no ongoing talks with Tesla, but hopes the U.S. giant will return to the negotiations table as soon as possible. We are confident that they eventually will realize that collective agreements is beneficial for them as well. We are prepared for a prolonged conflict, but we are hoping for a swift solution, the union said. And again, you have my and all my fellow brothers full support, you guys over there in Sweden, Germany, Norway. Um, all of you have our full support. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Here I am making as much noise as I can about it. And also, my fellow brothers, on TikTok, the Union Proud Warrior definitely has something to say here that's important. There's another wild thing is like some of these jobs have been demonized. It's not cool to be a plumber. It's not cool to be an electrician. It's not cool to be a roofer. But I'll tell you what, it's pretty cool to have a badass truck and be able to go hunt whenever you want, be able to hang out with your kids and make it every single weekend to their lacrosse or hockey games because you have successful businesses and you just did a little bit of work for a few years to build that thing. It's very bizarre that we've somehow or another demonized blue collar work and put white collar work on a pedestal. Whereas like the freedom comes from owning, owning your own business. That's real freedom and this other guy I found on TikTok I forget his name specifically what it is but I'll leave it there you'll be able to see it as well here Tesla pissed off Swedish workers 
You're not supposed to do that. Tesla workers in Sweden are demanding for Tesla to accept a proposal for collective bargaining and have a contract with the union. Tesla, headed by Elon Musk, is famously anti-union. Musk actually went as far as to once get in trouble for posting on Twitter a threat to his own employees when his employees were considering unionizing. He was found guilty of union busting there, and then he appealed the decision and it was upheld. But now in Sweden, over 100 metal workers have walked off the job at places that service Tesla vehicles. And in a show of solidarity, other unions are jumping in. Dock workers are refusing to deliver Teslas. There are painters unions that are refusing to paint Teslas. Basically, anybody who can is lending their solidarity. Additional unions are threatening to join in over the coming weeks if Tesla continues to not listen to the collective bargaining. They will essentially continue to pile on until Tesla does the thing that virtually all employers in that region already do. They have been referred to by trade organizations as not a serious employer. If you're an American watching this, by the way, Listen to the words that I have said here. <laughs> it is standard procedure to have a trade union that fights for your working conditions in other countries. Standard. But I digress into the end of that segment. Now, don't forget that the unions have been fighting this electric initiative for some time. Okay, not too long ago, we had representatives, union representatives and union laborers uh, striking in Sacramento making our voices heard and keeping this electric initiative at bay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Nordic investors deeply concerned. It says here in quotes, we as Nordic investors acknowledge the decade old tradition of collective bargaining and therefore urge Tesla to reconsider your current approach to unions. Elon Musk, you better listen up, man because the people are one powerful force. The investor's letter also asks for a meeting with Tesla's board in early 2024 to discuss the matter. So I'll be reporting on that as that unfolds come new year. Some funds acting individually have gone further in their critique. Kieran Aziz, head of responsible investments at KLP, which holds around 195 million in Tesla shares, said it's not just about the labor model in the Nordic, but about fundamental human rights. So, in Denmark, the pension fund, Pension Denmark, has decided it's already seen enough. It sold its 476 million Danish crowns in Tesla Holdings on December 7th. The Norges Bank Investment, or NBIM, which operates the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund and is the seventh largest Tesla shareholder with a stake of around 6.3 billion, did not sign into the letter. However, it declared last week that it would continue to pressure the company to respect labor rights, such as collective bargaining. So I'm gonna look more into the NBIM and report to you guys on that as well. And those of you who have hung around and have been listening to everything I've been saying, thank you very much. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Now here's another thing for Elon Musk to look out for. While the strike currently affects only Northern European countries, there is speculation it could inspire the 11,000 employees at Tesla's largest European operation, the Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg. Germany employees secured a 4% salary increase in early November as a result of pressure from German unions, a concession which could be linked to the fear of the strike in Nordic countries migrating south, according to the Washington Post. Across the Atlantic, Tesla workers have yet to unionize how Ever, the United Auto Workers successfully negotiated deals with Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis in November. Tesla is likely worried about unions back home too, which he is. You guys saw in the last video all the proof and the evidence that I supplied for your optical and audible consumption. So that video has a lot of information as far as unionizing, your protections, uh, laborers protections collectively as they try to unionize so you know they don't suffer the repercussions of being fired as I had mentioned earlier in this video you know they brought this individual back after they had found Elon Musk to be a union buster go ahead and comment below with what you guys think about everything that you heard today thanks for watching